Welcome back. John Ruffle here. If you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe to the channel. Log into YouTube. Subscribe because then you can get updates every time I put a new video up. And I do this because I think it's important that in the days that we live in, we really learn what it means to be a disciple, the wholehearted follower of Jesus Christ. Today's Wednesday, the 30th of March, 2022. That's uh, over two years since we started doing uh, this teaching channel on YouTube. And uh, it'd be great if you share these videos with others as well. This week, we've been looking at renewing the mind. We've looked at Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Be not transformed, be not conformed rather to this world but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. And we renew our minds by soaking, meditating, allowing our heart and mind and our soul to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ through the word of God. There's no substitute for God's word because the entrance of thy word brings light. The Bible says the entrance of God's word brings light. And in this day and age, there's so many distractions everywhere around us that we just, it's so hard to be focused on God's word, on the promises of God, on the majesty of God, on the wonders of what Jesus did on the cross for the salvation of the human race. And of course, it has to be something that we personally identify with, personally receive. And if I give you a gift and your hands are already full, you're going to either not be able to accept the gift or you'll take it and drop something on the floor. Something's going to break because you can't hold on to this world and God's kingdom. There has to be a choice of which God you're going to serve. The God of this world, or the God who loves you, who sent his son to die for us, rose from the dead and has powered us to live a holy life. Now that holy life is so important and it's achieved not by our struggle, our human efforts, but it's achieved by self-surrender. And today, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you, ask myself, am I surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus Christ? Have I made that self-surrender to Christ? It reminds me when I was a kid, Elvis Presley came out with, with, with this song, I Surrender. And uh, he wasn't talking about surrendering to Jesus Christ. He was uh, talking about surrender to worldly love, but we are called to something higher. And brothers and sisters, this Lent, as we, let not be a grievous time, but as we meditate and think about the sacrifice of Jesus, as he was tempted in the wilderness 40 days and 40 nights, and then um, at the end of his three years of ministry, he culminated by dying on the cross for us and uh, he has incredible pain and emotional uh, turmoil that he went through in the Garden of Gethsemane um, and in that backdrop he willingly sacrificed his life so that we could be returned back to a state of grace, a state of communion with God through Jesus Christ. So I'm not going to go on for long today. I wanted to just encourage us. It's a life. It's a walk. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's, it's, we're here for the long haul. And you can do it, brothers and sisters. I've been walking with God 50 years in ministry. And it's only by the grace of God that I'm here today. It's only by, by His saturating me with his love that I've been able to come this far in my life 
and you might be just starting out in your Christian life. And that's great. I just want to encourage you to keep going day by day. Commit each day to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And I'll see you, if not before, in heaven, glorifying Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Thanks so much for watching today. It's John Ruffle. Have a great day. God bless.